What's up, everybody? To this week's episode of Everybody Eats, my name is Briss. I'm Cheese. And this week we went to Legacy Smokehouse. Uh, before I get started, though, I just want to say I'm repping my Ill Reference shirt. Um, shout out to everybody at Ill Reference, uh, made by Ox. You know, they sell shirts, hoodies, tracksuits, you know, whatever. They have it. Uh, so go to their website, illreference.com, and support local black businesses. Um, but yeah, so uh, Brewery District um, sits in like a weird area. It's kind of near Brewery Strange. District, kind of not. I don't know how to describe it. Um, yeah, it's we in Columbus. Call, we don't call that Brewery District. Yeah, it's called it's, Brewery District. Yeah, <laughs> it's not far from it, so you know. Right. Yeah. So um, yeah, you pull up to the restaurant. Uh, parking, pretty decent parking. I think mean, it has a lot of uh, spots. It's fairly it's, optimal. Yeah, definitely for sure. Um, with the exterior of the building, they have a lot of lights, so the place is actually pretty hard to miss. Um, yeah, it, yeah, it's big, bright. Yeah, there's a patio right outside. Like, you know, it's, it's a little chilly right now for that, but you know, right. for future reference. But anyway, so yeah, so you walk in, and um, you know, the first thing you probably notice is that they have like two levels. Um, so you have like a bottom floor with like a bar area, and then you have the upper level, and they have like and they have TVs all around, you know, so, you know, you'll definitely not be missing any games. Yeah, no. <laughs> For sure. Um, also, when you first walk in, you'll immediately be right at the register where you'll make your order there. Um, and then you go to wherever you're sitting, and they'll have, like, you have, like, a, little, give you a, little number. a number, and then they'll come bring it out to you when it's ready. Um, so that's a pretty cool system. Kind of weird. It's not weird in a bad way, but it's just unusual. I would say it was a little strange if you were trying to get drinks, which we were. Yeah, because that's what we do. But um, <laughs> yeah, because then you have to like you like you order your food and then you go to the bar and then you're trying to order the food. I mean, they're trying to order your drinks and it's just that's a little strange. It's not it's not as efficient, streamlined. Yeah. As, yeah, it's not as efficient. Okay, but I mean it's okay. Yeah, it's yeah. no problem really. Right, it was a little awkward for. Like when they brought out our food, we were still standing at the bar, but we were like walking towards our seats. So we just took it from yeah, like, we'll, we'll take like, it. Yeah, don't, don't worry about that because we got that. Right, so we sat down. Speaking of cocktails, uh, I had the pineapple jalapeno margarita, yep. um, which was pretty strange for me because I usually don't even like peppers in general. Um, so for it to be included in my drink as like an ingredient was kind of weird, but I was like, I'll try it. And it was actually pretty good. Um, I like the sweet, spicy, like, blend it had. It was, um, like a refreshing. Let's go with that, yeah. I can't think of the exact one I'm looking for, yeah. It, yeah, it was a very refreshing drink, honestly. Very refreshing and balanced. So, that's so I liked it when I had it. I had the, ooh, man, I forgot. The bourbon, bourbon sweet tea. Bourbon sweet tea? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, it literally just tastes like bourbon and sweet tea it wasn't really much to it yeah um but it was good it was solid nice little drink mm -hmm. yeah i liked it it was yeah like you said it was smooth it i liked it was better but you know, i did too honestly but yeah so that was, those are our drinks uh for our food i had the brisket um collard greens and macaroni and cheese i would say the brisket was pretty damn good um brisket was fire. Yeah, it was tender. Uh, you, oh, you also have the choice between lean cut yeah, they and, have one, and like a fattier one. I can't remember their exact terming for it. Yeah, but, but yeah. I went with the fatter option because you said it, it had more flavor in it. Um, so fat carries flavor. Fat does carry flavor. Yeah, but yeah, it was, yeah, the brisket was very tender. Um, you also had like these different like barbecue sauces you could choose from. So I chose uh, the spicy. The normal one, as well as the sweet barbecue, um, I put them in little uh, cups, or whatever. And ramekins? What are they called? Like ramekins. Ramekins? Yeah. The small little cups you put sauces in. Yeah. Wow, I never knew that. I learned a new word today. I had three ramekins <laughs> that I used for three different uh, flavors of barbecue sauce, and um, I actually like the spicy one the most. Um, this man, is, he has stepped so far out of his comfort Yeah, zone. like... <laughs> I'm not sure I know this person anymore. No, honestly, like, I, yeah, I usually don't eat spicy foods, or if I do, it's like, I keep it pretty mild, but... Uh, I saw one, my man eating a bag of Flamin' Hots last week. Uh, my mind was blown. Stop what was going on. First of all, Flamin' Hots are overrated. But that's a story for another day. We're gonna edit that out. 
Well, as well as Griffos. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's it. I'm done. Oh, uh, fuck this. No. I'm good. Yeah? I'm out. <laughs> Stop. But no. Um, yeah, I usually don't eat spicy food, but no, that. Um, one, it wasn't that spicy, which is why I enjoyed it. Two, um, it just seemed like it had like the best flavor of the three barbecue sauces that I tried. So, yeah, that's cool. I actually grabbed like, there were like five or so barbecue sauces and I just filled up one of each and then just kind of went through and tasted them all. I really liked the mustard one. Mm-hmm. The vinegar based one was pretty good as well. Uh, they were like a regular one was also really good. They were all really good barbecue sauces. So, you know, I mean, that's something you just got to play with. I'm not even going to talk to you about that because I mean, it's whatever you like. Right. Um, especially with that. I don't, there definitely wasn't any that was bad. Yeah. So, yeah, that was the brisket. And then I also had for my size macaroni and cheese and collard greens, which were, um, they were decent. Uh, I thought like the collard greens could have used, like, salt um, and maybe some other stuff. I don't know. I just know. I just feel like something was missing. I just don't have the talent to be able to discern which ingredients. But, um, but yeah, they were they were decent. Though. They weren't bad at all. Just not as great as like the brisket was per se. So for sure, the brisket was definitely the star. Um, yeah, the macaroni and cheese uh, did nothing for me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, like it was all, it wasn't bad. It was, it was seasoned really well. Um, just for like from a textural standpoint it was all right like it needed more to be more like creamy more cheese more cream more if you know how to make macaroni and cheese then you know i'm going with that uh, <laughs> and as far as the greens um like they were cool but they weren't like your grandmother's or something like the auntie's or whatever yeah. like they was it was all right it was yeah you know it was cool so i had the Full pork sandwich, the Tex-Mex street corn, and the brisket baked beans. Uh, we can start with the street corn. Alright, so like, I may or may not be pronouncing this right, but it's like elote. Uh, like street corn, typically, it's like elote, 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 something like that. Um, it's essentially like corn on the cob, mm-hmm. but on a stick. And then has like a little bit of like mayonnaise, like some lime juice, uh, chipotle powder, and the uh, cheese or some sort of parmesan or whatever. I don't even really know. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really good. I've only ever had it a couple times, but that shit was fire. And I've been wanting it a lot lately, mm-hmm. which was part of the reason I ordered that. But I knew better. I shouldn't have did that. Um, well, it, it just wasn't what I was looking for. But uh, why would it be? Uh, like it, yeah. Yeah. Like it was just. It wasn't like actually on a cob or anything. Like it was just a, a little bowl of corn with like a little bit of like mayonnaise and stuff, some cheese. It was alright. It was cool. It didn't taste bad by any means. Um, if I'm trying to get like, it was almost like like maybe they put like their house seasoning on, like their house like barbecue seasoning or something on there. Um, yeah, I wish it would have been like just a little more smoky. It seems like that's where it was like almost kind of trying to go maybe but i could be completely wrong and maybe that was just exactly how they wanted it but i personally would have i don't know charred the corn more probably so there was that um the brisket baked beans were really good um the beans i'm like it was solid i don't know yeah. Everything I had was just on my plate anyway. It was just like solid. Like nothing was really spectacular. overly spectacular. Yeah. Like it was, it was all just like oh, okay, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. It, it, the brisket was just fire. Like, yeah, the general, brisket so was like, definitely the best thing. <laughs> yeah. These were just like all right, cool. This is good. But like probably mostly because of this brisket. Mm-hmm. Um, the full pork sandwich. Again, it was just like like it was real solid. It was seasoned well. It was cooked well. It definitely it wasn't it was juicy. It wasn't like it initially when I first looked at it, I'm like, wow, this is a lot of pulled pork on this sandwich. I feel like I'm gonna bite into it and like it's gonna fall apart or whatever. But no, like the bones toasted really well, so it held up really nicely. Mm-hmm. Um, that's about all I got. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> no, that's um, fine. It just I didn't wasn't a whole lot for me to dig into with that. It was 
Yeah, everything was just good. It just wasn't outstanding. It wasn't amazing. Mm-hmm. They were sold out of ribs. They were sold out of ribs. But I was so salty. Because if you know me, that's my favorite food. So that's the, that's the first thing I was about to order. And he was like, yeah, we're out of ribs. I'm like, okay. So the ribs might even be even better than the uh, brisket. Than the brisket, the we, possible. We don't know. We have no idea really, but might have to go back another day and see for sure. I, we've heard, or I've heard good things. I don't know if you. I have too, actually. You know at all, yeah. but I've heard great things. So mm-hmm. I'll have to get back in there and try it. Yeah. And price-wise, uh, it was. Uh, I say it was pretty average. Like it wasn't nothing crazy. You know? It was average price. Yeah. It's been like. Dollars or something. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. And I had like three. Oh, I'm sorry. I also had a corn uh, muffin. I thought you had something else, but I wasn't sure. Uh, yep, sure did. It was really good. Mm-hmm. That was great. It was nice and moist. It was like kind of dense, but like not too dense. Like it wasn't. It was like perfectly airy and dense at the same time. It was weird. Yeah. But it was really good. Okay. Yeah, I know that makes no sense at all. <laughs> right. Why <laughs> It was both hot and cold <laughs> at the same time. Simultaneous. <laughs> so yeah, overall, I would give Legacy Smokehouse um, probably a 2.75. Um, just because, like, if the sides were like a little bit better, like even a tiniest bit better, to me that would push it over the hump to get to that like solid like three out of four. Um, but yeah, I, the brisket though was phenomenal. I really wish I could have had the ribs. I'm sure that would have been even better. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go to 2.75. Uh, really, I, I really like the place a lot though. I like the atmosphere. I like how you could like you could really bring in like a good group of friends and like sure. sit there and like watch the game while you eat and stuff like that. So I would definitely recommend it without a doubt. I mean, I'd recommend it too. Um, two five. Two five. Two five. Okay. 2.5 out of me for sure. Yeah. Um. Again, really solid. Everything was. What's the word I'm looking for? Satisfactory. Satisfactory. Everything was satisfactory for sure. Mm-hmm. But not outstanding. But not outstanding. Everything was satisfactory, but not outstanding. There we go. Gotcha. These are the words I'm looking for. <laughs> um. Yeah. 2.5. So yeah. That's it, That's everybody. Right for that course, um. Yeah. You know, shop ill reference. Tip your server. Yo, please tip your server. Right. I don't. I ain't trying to tell y'all niggas again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I just don't want to hear y'all out here not tipping y'all server. All right. Cause we got a bad stigma against against us that we don't tip and we want to change that. Yeah, you like, know what? Stop. You know, what are we doing? It's, it's not that much. It's I like promise. Just tip, bro. It's just it's just twenty percent. It, you know, at least don't look. Yeah. See you next week. <laughs> See you next week. We out.